Hello, uh, today I would like to explain how to make preparation with Dynamic Legend. So, after installation, you can find Dynamic Legend in the separate Dynamic Document tab. And the sample project comes from the eHelp. So, first we have to load uh, sample annotations. Right now, uh, we are going to create new legend. Here I will add um, a name for the sample log that will go for horizontal um, element presentment. Also, I'm going to change the scale. And now here we have to create a sample block uh, with uh, the detail lines, with components uh, and with the sample texts. So here you can make any kind of design you want, but uh, here just, uh, I will try to show two samples uh, for the different designs. But actually it doesn't matter, you can make your own design with your own um, uh, dimensions and, and with your own line styles. Right now we, we are going to insert legend components, so you can insert any actually legend component from that comes from the project. So right now I, I will use the front view. Or you can change the graphical presentment. And we are going to insert a frame. That frame will have uh, will indicate dimensions. So right now I'm going to look into dimensions of the sample door I have here and uh, I'm going to change such width and height dimensions in the frame. Right now we will add dimensions on that frame. Okay, and we will change the style of such dimensions. So that dimensions uh, will be automatically adjusted uh, when we will uh, make door legend. Okay, I will move that component a little bit lower. That's it. Right now, I'm going to add a text. Uh, that text will indicate and uh, will be the place where the prompt name will be changed. So here also I can change the font size and I'm saying where my prompt names will be displayed. And in the place where the values will be, here I'm going to place a symbol. This is our special family created and here uh, the tool will know that here you should have prompt values. So that's it, we have created the first sample block. Right now I will do the second design and uh, the sa second sample block uh, will be for vertical presentment of um, components. Again, I will draw some lines to indicate uh, uh, and, and just as, as an example for my future uh, legend. So, as I said before, you can make um, the design as you want. Um, actually, the main thing is that, is that you should have um, a component, um, a text, uh, where the prompt values will be, and uh, um, uh, our created special symbol, and that symbol will indicate the place where the value prompt values should be added. And that sample block you, you will be able to uh, save for your future projects. Okay, so right now let's say I will use the same component with the same frame. So I'm going to copy that um, element and paste it to, uh, to the second view. 
You can. I, I will change the graphical presentment. I will move that component a little bit lower. Anytime you can move all the lines if it's needed. And the same as before, we have to add text notes. For example, in the first column, uh, I will have uh, the row number. So that's my text that will indicate the row number. Uh, here, the second column uh, will be a design of uh, uh, element. So as you see here, right now we do such a block for, for the, with the sample doors, but actually you can do that with, for any category as well. And one more column. Uh, here we will get parameter names. And now where the values will be, we have again to place our created special symbol. So this is my imperial project. So here I have imperial uh, symbol. Search sample blocks can be later used in your any kind of projects. You can copy them later in any project you want. At the same time, those uh, sample blocks should be saved in your uh, company template.